Previously, we discussed fuel pressure and its importance as far as the performance of your engine. Now we're going to talk about fuel flow. Right, fuel flow is especially critical when we're looking at boosted applications where we've got high fuel flow. So in a supercharged methanol and a turbocharged application, uh, a supercharged nitromethane, it's all very critical to keep an eye on it. We have fuel pressure, that's part of the story. Fuel flow is the other part of that story. So you can see things um, like we have channels called cc's per turn, which is a math channel that's included whenever you buy a flow meter. You'll see that, and that's critical to give you the information whether or not your pump is failing as engine RPM increases. So also what we're finding is a lot of the late model EFI cars are starting to add fuel flow to them, right? Yes, they are. They're looking at it in uh, calibrated in pounds per hour just to see exactly what their fuel flow is, whether it's in line with what the system is demanding in order to do it for tune-up purposes. So how does it actually measure flow? How, do, how does this thing work? We use this on an inlet fuel flow line in most applications where we're actually passing the fuel through it and there's a turbine in there that sits there and counts off the number of gallons it sees going by it. In some of the larger systems, as we said, on the supercharged nitromethane, we'll see uh, not just the inlet, but we'll also see the return side of it, and in some of the EFI setups as well, they'll monitor the return back to the tank. So it's basically a little fan inside there, it's just spinning, and, and kind of like the drive shaft RPM we talked about earlier, it just counts the number of pulses as it goes by. It does that, and it knows how many pulses represents a gallon, or as I said, if it's calibrated in pounds per hour, how many pounds of fuel have passed by the sensor. Okay.